Hello everyone. In this video we will guide you how you can upload your bombs or bills of material in bulk on Transact. This is my bomb format. The format should be exactly same while uploading the bomb in bulk on Transact. You can upload maximum 10 bombs at a time. You can add the sheets from here for each bomb and copy the format there. The format will be exactly same only the data will differ. You cannot even delete the columns. Even if you are adding any row there should be data otherwise it will give you an error now here i will explain you each and every component of this format you need to mention the bomb id if the bomb id is set to auto on your transact profile you can leave it blank even if it is set to auto and you are mentioning the bomb id it will take the bomb id which you have mentioned in the format here you need to mention the bomb name you can also write the description here you need to mention the stores FG store, raw material store and scrap store. Here, you will define your finished goods. You can add more finished goods by adding rows. You need to give the serial number, item ID, item description, quantity of finished good, unit, cost allocation, it is in percentage, and comment. You can leave the comment section blank. If you have any comments, you can add the comments. Now, one point to be noted here is, the item ID and description of finished good and raw materials should be there in your inventory. If these items are not added into your inventory, it will give you an error. Now, now here, there is end of finished good. Now you need to give the details of your raw materials. There should be serial number, item ID, item description, quantity, unit and comment. Now here, there is an option to link child bomb. Now what is child bomb? For example, for this item, sharp seal, you have defined a bomb for this item and you want to link that bomb with this item. In that case, this will become your main bomb and bomb for this item will become your child bomb. So you can mention the bomb ID of this item. You can add more raw materials by adding the rows and adding the respective details. Here, you can add the scrap details. You can just add a row and enter the scrap details. I'm deleting it. Now comes routing. You need to give serial number, routing number and routing name. Routing means the processes involved in your production. So in my case, it is fitting. It should be already defined in my transact profile. I have already defined it. I'll show you where. Go to transact, go to productions module. Click on bill of material. Here there is an option of manage routing. Click on the same. Here I have defined this routing fitting on my transact profile. If you want to add more routings, you can click on this plus icon. Enter the routing ID, routing name. You can also add the description and click on save. Your routing will be added. Now I'm going back to the sheet. Now scrolling down. After routing, you can add the cost, labor cost, electricity, machinery and others. Here, it will take the cost in rupees. You can also add the comments. Here, end of cost. So this is the format. I'm going to upload this bomb on my transact profile. I'm downloading the same. Now, I will upload this file which is downloaded on my transact profile. Now. To upload bomb on transit profile, there are two prerequisites. First, you need to have admin access of your transit profile. Second, you need to have the link to upload bomb in bulk. To get the bomb format and the bomb upload link, please raise a chat to our chat agents. Go to transit profile. I am pasting the link here. Enter it. Here, it gives me an option to upload my bomb file. I am clicking on this area, I am selecting the file, click on open, click on submit. Now here it gives me a message, bomb number customization is automatic. This is letting me know that my bomb ID is set to auto. Still it will take the bomb ID which I have mentioned in my format. Now here it is showing some errors. Here my store is highlighted in red. If you see here, I have two stores. This is main stock store and not main store. So I need to make corrections. 
I'll open this file. I'll make the correction. This is main stock store. Now click on save. Go back to your transact profile. Now scroll down. If you see this row is highlighted in red, that means there is also an error. This is a bomb ID which I have added, which is not present on my transact profile. Hence, it is giving me error. I'll delete this from my transact. I'll delete this from my sheet. I'm going back to the sheet and delete transact profile. Here, this particular row is highlighted in yellow. This means that my transact profile has bomb for this particular material. I can link the child bomb with this item. To link the item, I need to check the bomb ID. For that, I'm opening the production module in new tab. Go to bill of material. There is a bomb for motor adapter. I'm copying this bomb ID and I'm pasting this on my sheet. Motor adapter. Paste. There should not be any space here. Now click on save. Come back to transact. Now I'm scrolling down. I'm not finding any more errors. Now click on upload again. Here, select the file. Click on submit. Now here, there is no error. Also, my child bomb has been linked with this particular item. Now, I'm scrolling up. On the top right corner, there is an option submit. Click on submit to upload the bomb. Here, the bomb is uploaded successfully. Hope you find this video useful. Thank you. Have a good day.